Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Ricoh ScanSnap iX100 scanner. Stay tuned and I'll give you a general overview, show you how to set it up, and discuss some of its important features. I'll also tell you what I like about this scanner, what I don't like about this scanner, and what people are saying about this scanner online. At the end, I'll tell you how you can download my simple guide which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying a ScanSnap iX100 scanner, please support my channel by using my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. Before I begin, please note that this video is sponsored content brought to you by Rico. But as always, all of the opinions expressed are my own. Here's the roadmap of everything that we'll be covering in this video. First, I'll provide a broad overview of the iX100, show you everything that comes in the box, and walk you through how to set it up. Then I'll talk about some of its important features and specifications before telling you what I like about the iX100 and what I don't like about the iX100. Finally, I'll give you an overview of what people are saying about the iX100 online and save you the legwork of needing to wade through hundreds of online reviews and help take the guesswork out of deciding if this is the right scanner for you. The first thing I'll look at is the difference between Fujitsu ScanSnap and Ricoh ScanSnap. In short, they're basically the same thing. Ricoh and Fujitsu are both large companies that make information technology products. On September 1st, 2022, Ricoh purchased Fujitsu Scanning Division and brought it under the Ricoh brand. Scanners made before April 2023 are branded as Fujitsu, and scanners made after April 2023 are branded as Ricoh. But aside from having different branding, the scanners are exactly the same. To start getting into it, this is the Ricoh ScanSnap iX100 scanner. When you open the box, you'll find the iX100, a USB cable, software, and documentation. One of the most amazing features of the iX100 that I'll be talking about more in this video is that it's extremely compact in size and weighs only about 0.88 pounds, is 1.87 inches deep, 10.74 inches wide, and 1.42 inches tall when all of its covers are closed. When all of its covers are open, it's still only slightly larger. In terms of connectivity, the iX100 works in Windows, Mac, iOS and Android environments, and can connect wirelessly or by USB cable depending on your device. Using the included software, it can scan directly onto your computer or to different cloud services. As with all ScanSnap products, the setup process is relatively easy. To start, visit pfu.rico.com forward slash global forward slash scanners forward slash ScanSnap forward slash DL. Select the iX100 from the drop down list, select your operating system and then click display software list. Click here to download the ScanSnap Home download installer and then click here where it says download installer. Scroll to the bottom of the end user license agreement and then click agree. Once the installer software downloads, click on it to run the software on your computer. The great thing about the installation process for the iX100 is that it shows you exactly what to do, how to do it and when to do it. This is the first screen that you'll see which shows you that you need to plug in the included USB cable between your scanner and computer. Click through and the software will now complete the USB connection process and walk you through connecting your scanner to your wireless network if you want to connect by Wi-Fi. If you need any help with this, please see my video on how to install the ScanSnap Home software. Once you've connected wirelessly to your PC or Mac, you can unplug the USB cable and use the iX100 anywhere in your nearby area as long as you have a strong signal and a good wireless connection. You can also access it directly from your mobile device with iOS, Android, and Chrome OS using the ScanSnap Home app. In terms of its look and user interface, the iX100 has a clean and sophisticated design. It offers a simple one-touch button approach and provides high quality scans for whatever you're scanning. The iX100 can scan documents at a resolution of up to 600 dots per inch and can scan pictures at a similar resolution for high quality image reproduction. It also supports color scanning, grayscale scanning, and black and white scanning to accommodate a wide range of scanning needs. After you scan a document, the software can automatically adjust for image skew and orientation to ensure that scans are straight and properly aligned. It can also perform streak reduction, remove blank pages, make the document into a searchable PDF, and automatically generate file names based on information in the document. For receipts, the software can detect the name of the vendor, the date of the receipt, and the total amount, and use this information when naming the file. Moving on to the key features, the iX100 is compact, speedy, and simple to use. Its most important and unique feature is that it's one of the smallest and most portable scanners on the planet. I've already mentioned its specific weight and size specifications, but in general, you can see from me holding it and using it just how compact it is. 
The great thing about it being so portable is that you can take this scanner with you anywhere and it won't weigh you down or take up too much space. One of the ways that I personally benefit from this portability is by taking my iX100 on business trips so that I can scan documents like business cards and receipts for accommodation, travel, and meal reimbursement. Instead of returning home with a pile of receipts that I need to scan and organize, I can scan them as I receive them so that I don't have to play catch up later. Sometimes I even receive documents on the road that I want to send back to my team in the office, and with the iX100, doing this is a snap. Regarding speed and ease of use, using the iX100 is very simple. You just open the feed guide, wait to see the blue light, insert your document, press the start button, and then control your scan job using the ScanSnap Home app. Using the ScanSnap Home app, you can save your scans on your device, or you can send them directly to cloud services like Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, and Microsoft OneDrive or you can directly email them to somebody. More broadly, with the iX100 and any of ScanSnap's Wi-Fi enabled scanners, you don't need a computer by your side to scan, and instead you can use your iPhone or Android device using the ScanSnap Home app. After you hit the scan button, in only a few seconds, the iX100 performs a single-sided scan, meaning it scans the front of the document and ejects it either out of the back of the scanner or out of the top if you open the U-turn path output guide. If your working environment is a bit cramped, you'll appreciate this space-saving design because it means that you don't need to budget much space for the iX100 to do its work. Another great thing about the iX100 is that it can scan thicker items like plastic cards, business cards, postcards, and even folded documents and pamphlets. If you're doing a multi-page scan job, the scanning software has a continuous scan document feed feature, which allows you to insert pages one after another without needing to press any extra buttons. When using this mode, I only need to press the scan button twice once at the start of the scan job to tell the scanner that I've started, and once at the end to tell it that I'm done. After I press the button the first time, I can simply feed in my documents one by one without needing to do anything else. This makes for an extremely fast process because I don't have to press a button again or click anything on my computer. Finally, because the iX100 is battery operated, you can scan wirelessly without even needing to plug in any cable. If it's at 0%, the battery typically takes about two and a half hours to fully recharge using the provided USB cable. But of course you can keep scanning while the battery is charging. I'll also quickly mention that although the iX100 can scan thick documents, it may or may not be able to scan a passport depending on how many pages it has and how thick it is. When it comes to the things that I like about the iX100, I've already mentioned some of them in my overview. The thing I like the most is of course how compact it is. It fits anywhere in your home work area or office, and it's extremely portable if you need to take it with you to scan in other places, like at a library, school, other office, or if you're working on the road. I also like that it works wirelessly with my computer and smartphone. The ScanSnap iX100 is equipped with built-in Wi-Fi, which can automatically detect and switch to the network environment at your home, in your office, or if you're on the go. After you complete the initial setup, the iX100 can even scan wirelessly to certain devices without there being any Wi-Fi nearby. For example, if you're connecting at home or in your office, you can connect by Wi-Fi through your wireless router. If you're on the road and away from a wireless router, you can connect to devices using the direct connect mode and you don't need a wireless access point. With this feature, I love how you can basically scan anywhere at any time. Another thing that I like about the iX100 is that it's really simple to use. Once you open the cover and see the blue light, you can start scanning immediately. And if you're using the straight path scanning option, you don't even need to open the top output guide. I also like that the iX100 is relatively fast. It can scan a full A4 letter size document in about 5 seconds, and it can scan smaller items like business cards and photos even faster. And while there are many scanners out there that scan more quickly, these are relatively larger units. For example, the ScanSnap iX1300 can scan 20 pages front and back in about 40 seconds, and the ScanSnap iX1600 can scan even faster. But both of these scanners are much larger units, both in terms of size and weight. However, even if the iX100 doesn't scan as quickly as some of its bigger siblings, that's part of the trade-off of it being so compact and portable. When it comes to the things that I don't like about the iX100, I only have a few complaints. My first complaint is that the iX100 doesn't come standard with a carrying case. However, whenever I buy electronics, such as a laptop or a mouse, I know that it's not going to come with a carrying case, and if I want to have one, that's up to me. The same goes for the iX100. Many different carrying cases are available on Amazon that are custom made for the iX100 and store the scanner and the USB cable. My second complaint is that the included USB cable is a little on the short side, measuring in at about a foot and a half. However, I can appreciate that the cable may be short because the idea of the iX100 is that you'll usually be scanning near your computer or you'll be scanning wirelessly, 
so you don't need a long cable or any cable at all sometimes. However, as with the carrying case, if I want a longer cable, I can simply search Amazon for long micro USB cable, and I can buy a cable that's up to 10 feet long for under $10. When it comes to online reviews, the iX100 has been reviewed hundreds of times on Amazon and other websites. According to my research, people typically rate it between 4 and 5 out of 5 stars. On Amazon, many of the positive reviews say things like top notch, awesome, easy, excellent, portable, solid, fast, near perfect, and terrific. Some of the reviewers are new to scanning, and some are people who have upgraded from previous models and mentioned owning different ScanSnap products over the years and how these products are built to last. Overall, people seem to like that the iX100 is portable, user-friendly, easy to set up, and that the quality of the scans is high. Some reviewers praise the scanner's ability to recognize and sort receipts, making it a great tool for business owners and a great gift for business travelers. Looking at the negative reviews, the biggest complaints seem to come from people who think that the iX100 scans too slowly and has poor battery life. As I mentioned, the iX100 does scan more slowly than other larger scanners, but this is one of the trade-offs for its smaller size. Regarding the battery, my experience after years of reliable performance is that it's still holding strong. With respect to the ScanSnap Home software, some people found it to be cumbersome, complicated, and lacking in explanation. For me, ScanSnap Home is comparatively one of the easier to use scanning suites out there, and I've made videos to help with installing it, and in the future, I'll be making further content to show you more of its features and to go over my recommended best settings. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I show you how to install and set up the ScanSnap Home software. If you want to learn about other Ricoh products, check out my videos on the Ricoh ScanSnap iX1600, ScanSnap iX1300, and the FI8170. If you end up purchasing a ScanSnap iX100, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon which will support me and my channel. For advice on how to scan and organize all of your documents, please see my video on how to scan and organize everything. So with that, there you have it. That's my review of the Ricoh ScanSnap iX100 scanner. If you'd like to download my simple guide which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandelman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.